Yep, and we're back live with the Humble Prince on Sahara FM Radio. Hope everybody's been having a good time so far. I've been having a good time. We're having a fantastic show. Uh, again, tonight's show is brought to you by Vivalent Entertainment Presents, Basket Mouth in New York City. That's going to be taking place June 27th this Saturday. I'm hosting that event. Tickets are selling out fast. I don't want to say tickets are selling out because of me, but I'm sure. I play a part in that. But Baskin Mouth is Africa's number one comedian. He's going to be in the house. It's going to be fun. Uh, he got his visa, so he's here. I know a lot of you were concerned because the USA has some glitch with their visas and everything. And that's why the Sunny Day concert for this Friday uh, has been canceled. We're sorry about that. But, you know, everybody that bought tickets, uh, thank you for your support and everything. But you will get, you will get your full refunds. Also, the law offices of Bonali Mayawa PC, please go to their website, www.mayawalaw.com. They handle divorces and immigration and green cards and all that U.S. citizen uh, you know, your U.S. citizenship, something I, I really don't know about because um, I was born and raised in the United States and I have my um, blue passport, oh, so Lord. I never needed a lawyer for that. So, uh, <laughs> you're really proud of this person, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, I'm going to get to you. Anyway, we have a very special guest in the house, and she's media personality and journalist and friend to the house, the beautiful, curvy, <laughs> Natasha and Google, God damn it. You could, uh, uh, yeah, you could. Can be, I clap for myself? Yeah, you can. Is it immodest? Um, that's very humble of you. You're on live with the Humble Prince, so, okay. you know, humility is definitely uh, appreciated. Okay. Thank you so much. And of course, we still have our uh, guest co in the house, first runner up, Miss Nigeria USA, the beautiful. Uh, can I even say her name first before the applause? Yeah. I don't think we need to clap every time. It's okay. No, we need to clap. <laughs> we do need to clap. So, Latasha, thank you so much for joining us, man. Fantastic. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Pleasure is all mine. Yeah. Damn, you're not, not going to say thanks for having me? Um, you haven't had me yet. Oh, oh, wow. she, she's been watching the show. <laughs> she knows what's going on. She came well prepared. Okay. I see this is going to be fun. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, so what brings us to the United States? Um, well, really, 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 I had to use my U.S. visa. I hadn't used it yet. <laughs> oh you know, uh, it's been yeah. two years now, and right. I was like, it expires in August. I'm like, I have to use it. Right. But then, more importantly, it was Full Figured Fashion Week. Nice. Mm -hmm. That was Good. really awesome. Curvy Con. Nice. Um, the reason why I'm sitting here right now is because Humble Prince humbly asked me to be on the show, and Thank I was supposed much. to be leaving today. And I'm like, it's not every day you get to be on the show with Humble Prince. So I moved my ticket. He didn't know I was even coming. Was We're supposed to do this by Skype. Skype. Yes. And then I showed up. So yeah. that was was really nice and yeah, um, a couple of other things you know but basically it was just a whole week 10 days of all this activity and then all of this added on just made it all well worth it Fantastic. so um, I guess I have to say thank you to um, a couple of the people who made my trip happen nice. about that curvy life dot com nice. that's the curvy website that I'm currently working with Ooh, and um, stylevitae.com they nice. also helped you know did a lot of media push they right. assisted in you know getting the word out there that I'd be here people should support and all of that then of course Vanguard newspaper whom I work for nice Leo magazine I'm an editor there um, yeah. I have a column every Sunday. Okay. It's called Side Talk and Catwalks. Ooh. So okay. she does a lot. She does. Yeah, she I've been doing the most test though. <laughs> yeah. The most test with the most test <laughs> doing the most yeah. test. And for the big shout out to um any allow any allow me to connect. Uh, oh yeah, just, any 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 tone is it? Yeah. Keep coming, you know, like, yeah, any tone. That was uh, fantastic. But unbeknownst mm. to both of us, um, I met I your love that word, unbeknownst. Oh yeah, Can, I'm I'm, I'm <laughs> an educated so guy. I'm an educated guy, man. It's Cars so and it's so that, bougie. Man. Unbeknownst. Yeah. Unbeknownst. Yes. Um, I actually was gonna finish my. Um, I started my MBA, then I got this job that was paying me a lot of money. I said, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's funny about that? I'm serious, man. Don't, don't I sound like an educated brother? Yes, you really educated. do. Yeah. So, like I said, unbeknownst to the both of us. Um, unbeknownst. I, yeah. <laughs> I actually um, did a show with your brother, who's on Rhythm 93.7. Absolutely. So in Lagos. Brother, Lagos. Yeah, yes. Arthur. Oh, please, let's give Arthur a round of applause. Woo! Big shout out to Arthur. And it's his birthday tomorrow. So really? Yes. yes. Arthur, happy birthday to you, man. In Good. advance. Yeah. Oh, I like that. That's, that's so that's, cheesy. That is really cheesy, but it's, it's good. <laughs> well, I'm sure it's better than us singing. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe, maybe. Um, I'm can not you sing? sing? Yeah, I can, can you sing? sing? Come on, man. Can you sing? Humble Prince could do everything. Holler at your can boy. I everything. Lie. <laughs> <laughs> Will you lie? I was going to say, how do you know? <laughs> yeah, but um, no, fantastic. So, Arthur, um, smart guy, you know, we did a good show together. And, um, and you know, mm -hmm. like I said, I didn't even know you guys were selling, but, you know, cool dude mm -hmm. and everything. So, uh, tell us, you know, like, I know you already gave us a little bit about yourself, but, you know, tell us a little bit more. Uh, you know, Vanguard, the, the um, economy, right? What is it about? 
it's it's really a social commentary okay. on um, many things that happen through my eyes because I get to go to tons of events nice. every week. I get invitations. I read up on what's going on. I'm friends with a couple of celebrities. Some of them I know from a distance. Some I see. Some are like my neighbors. Some right. I went to school with. But, you know, it's like I get tired of like... Can I say can I say D I C K on radio? No. No, you said it already. Okay, so <laughs> D I C K writing, you know, you have a lot of that. It's like, oh my God, this person just stepped out. Check out their shoes. A lot of ass kissing and, it's and all like, that, right? Oh my God, check yeah. out their new car and oh, check out this and check out that. And I'm like, come on, this is boring, you know. We need a little more. Like, if someone is, like, acting the fool, call them out. If someone is being stupid, call them out. If someone is just being, like, you know, retarded, call them out. You know, and this is what you find. Like, the media here, they don't take that. Like, no one has time to, like, ride you. Like, you know, if you're doing something wrong, if you're doing something stupid, then you're going to be called out on it. And I felt like I needed to be... Like that voice. I'm not a blog. I'm not one of the bloggers who just like gets, you know, tries to get like, um, what's the word now? Just to get like followership or whatever, or readers or like com people commenting. Bloggers don't necessarily have an opinion, and that's the difference between blogging and journalism. Mm. In journalism, there is an opinion. Um, journalism or the media does not change what you think mm. about it changes how you think about it or how you see it True. True. so basically i feel like um journalists are almost extinct because they're true not journal. being a true journalists are yeah. not being allowed to express themselves in this new age where everybody has an opinion and i know it sounds kind of um um i don't know god like to say everyone has an opinion everyone is entitled to an opinion but yeah everyone's opinion cannot count at the same time hmm. when you're counting yeah I, you know yeah, yeah i hate when like there have ahead. to be voices that stand out above the free otherwise we would descend into anarchy so True. if you know if i if i could be that one who says you know just call it out when people are doing this or doing that or shining a light yeah. on some things that i know or believe are important then i have to do that and i just felt this was that was the time to start something like that and it's been great you know i've written about a host of people i think i've done some really good stuff out there yeah. it was my birthday on the 8th of May, and yep. I got to... I'm May 6th. Oh, Taurus. Taurus. Yes. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Tim Taurus. Oh. Tim Taurus. By the way, I took a picture at the bull, at the charging bull on the New York Stock Exchange. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always wanted to touch that. So oh, I really? went to the you bull. You the bull right here. I, I went to the bull. The real bull. The, <laughs> the famed bull. <laughs> and I touched it, and I spoke in its ear because yeah. it's supposed to have powers and bring oh, yeah. a lot of luck and success. Nice. So I did that, but that's a sidebar. So anyways, it was my birthday on the 8th of May. Happy birthday. Thank you in areas. Mm -hmm. yep. And um, I went to this place called the Hearts of Gold Children's Hospice in oh, Suriliri. And um, it was a really, I mean, I used to go there when I was much younger, when I was mm. a teenager, because the lady used to have, the, it used to be off at in Ragusa, someplace in Suriliri. But Governor Fashola, well, the recently, um, you know, um, ex-governor of Lagos, Governor yeah. Fashola, he built for them a really amazing structure on Alaji Masha Road in Suriliri. And he put them there, Momilaja that's her name and it's her calling she has about 67 of these children nice. abandoned you know some of them with like born with like you know all kinds of stuff gone wrong tumors some of them have like epilepsy oh, they wow. were all basically abandoned found in trash cans in what? bins wow. on the street yes because like probably the parents can't handle the pressure they don't know what to do they're probably from like less privileged backgrounds and they just dumped these children and she's like none of these children will go without care so i went wow. there and um, I went the day before to go see what the children could need. And they gave me a list of stuff. I sent out messages to friends of mine. I had people like Toyin Lawani, that's ATM Fashionista, Wajem Music, she came. A lot nice. of people showed support. Isn't it, um, isn't it Chinkata? So many people, friends of mine. Good, they man. came through. We went there. We're not allowed to bring food to the children, but we brought, like, you know, um, pampas and, like, um, oil and, um, you know, like, raw, like, noodles and disinfectants, insect Decide, just to help you know, out. Just yeah, to, you know, just to help out. We took things too for the staff who help. 
and it was really great and i wrote about it on my column and the feedback that i got just made every minute of it worth it people call the people like called the text how can we help what can we do i that's just good, sent man. out yeah. you know so that's it's not round just, of applause, by thank the way, you Nick. it's not just <laughs> yeah, about Nick, it's not just do your job <laughs> yeah Cool. It's not just about um, bashing celebrities, so to speak. About it's them. also about, you know, like I said, shining a light on the things that are important and calling it out yeah. as I see it through yeah. my eyes. Right, mm -hmm. but uh, to, um, Tosin, do you want to um, say something? No, I just think that? that's great. That's about empowering each other and, mm -hmm. you know, networking to mm -hmm. do something better for people. Absolutely. So I'm just so happy that you actually did something like that because a lot of people talk about it, but it's something about talking and then doing it. Mm -hmm. right. So I'm just happy you did and it. And in yeah. fact, um, Iniedo read about it and she reached out to me and she was like, I want to come. I want to go see these children. You know, she was so passionate. So we went. I took her on a separate trip. You know, we bought tons of stuff for the children. She was moved. Oh, There's wow. a kid there actually called Prince. Beautiful child. Of course. Beautiful child. But then he's born with this tumor. The tumor is double the size of his head, wow. and it hurts that kid because it's like when he moves his head, wow. he moves the tumor. It's huge, and they t try to um, operate, but the doctors they think I think they took him to India or Dubai. I don't remember, and they said he was too young. They can't separate it because his brain mm -hmm. is actually attached to the Took tumor, you know. And she, Any, was crying. It was so emotional. She put it out on her Instagram. So it's like. You know, we can do, we, we all can be part of something. Yeah. It just needs one person to start it, and everyone is, is looking in that direction. Yeah. So I'm blessed and I'm humbled to be able to do something that I feel does make a difference. Thank you Good. so much for doing that. Wow. And, yes. you know, I just wanted to say that, uh, you know, I commend you for what you did, but um, <clears throat> you have to understand why, you know, people write about, you know, the shoes people wear mm -hmm. and the car they drive in Nigeria. I mean, Nigeria, materialism, ma sorry. Nigeria is a very materialistic society. But Let's the world is a material place. The world uh, is ruled Nigeria, by vanity. Yeah, yeah. But, I don't uh, agree you know. with you. We had this argument already. I'd rather live in Nigeria than live in the United States of <laughs> We're America. Gonna have, if we start that, yes. this show will not end. Okay? Let it because, not end. But we could take it to Twitter or Instagram, though. Oh, Lord. You know? Yeah, we could, we could battle there. Because she said <laughs> people in the United States... Uh, uh, I mean, people living in Nigeria have it better off than people living in the United States. Impossible. Um, if it was my perfect world, I would live in both places because I believe no, both no, places would, If you could choose one. I, I did. I, I if you didn't, could choose I didn't, one. I don't know I did if I could choose. Say, I did not say that Nigeria is a perfect place. I right. said we probably I'm just not, need to get two, three things right. We need to get electricity going. Right. We need to get electricity going and we need to get good governance going. Yeah. In other words, you need to be like the United States. No. We just need good governance I and think electricity. Nigeria can learn from the United States, and the United States can learn from Nigeria. Like I think, I, I love both of my countries. I see, I see Nigeria, USA. Like I love <laughs> this is being Nigerian country, in America. Yeah. So uh, yeah, so I know you had the um, the Kirby Con, like you said. How was that? What was yeah, that experience um, like? I know I saw you taking pictures and yeah, stuff with people. Um, I yeah, I got to meet Kira. She is she's nice. like this gospel singer. She yeah, on B, on she's on BT, right? Really? Yeah. Yes, this she's is. Nigerian. Nope, she's no, American. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, um, I met people like Gabby Fresh. Nice. I met um, oh, Curvily.com, so many of the Curvy bloggers, and it was man. amazing. It was really good connecting with all these beautiful women. Yeah. You know, it was it was nice to know that our struggles, struggles as um, Curvy women are synonymous, it's like all over, nah, all over the no world. it's no struggle, man. I don't no, know. like, that's why I said, Come I put in like parentheses, okay. like our struggles, whatever <laughs> Our struggles yeah. may seem to be. Right. Uh, it's not just me who feels it. It's not just me who feels like sometimes. Oh my goodness! I, I wish you know my boobs were a little lighter. You know my back hurts sometimes. You know like ugh, that struggle to find like the perfect I think, like yeah. leggings right. or like you know perfect shoes sometimes because I don't want anything too high. So I feel like it's nice to know that. I'm not the only one. It's not just on the continent that I feel that, like, my sisters in America, my sisters from Latin America, and there were women from, like, Accra, like, who were based in the States and Canada, whatever, and they all feel, like, the same way. We all had, like, similar things yeah. going on. And it was just nice and humbling and empowering and yeah. refreshing to see this. So yeah. it was a really well, good trip. Well, to be honest with you, man, I know, uh, I think, you know, being curvy is in style now. Uh, mm -hmm. Whatever you got, own it. If you're skinny, own Thank it. Thank you. If you're you yeah. curvy, own it. Like, yeah. God made... You're beautiful. So I don't know. Hell yeah, she's Regardless man. if you're skinny or not, whatever she's, God gave you, own it. Yeah. I know, right? So, I think women are beautiful in all shapes, sizes, color, whatever, mm -hmm. man. Yep. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and this... Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And I, I just wanted to say, um, you know, like, for instance, like the... 
the Miss U- USA Nigerian Miss Nigeria, pageant. USA. Right. The there pageant. was curvy girls. There was curvy girls there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was there was girls. there was a girl there. She stood in this room. Her ass was in oh the next God, room. Oh my God! Stop. <laughs> You're not huge. Stop. And it was beautiful. Mm. That's what I'm saying. So mm. you know, it's it's just nothing. You know, oh it's nothing. Lord. Nick, I know we got a roundup, man, but we got a superstar in the house, man. Let's just take a one minute break, real quick, and when we come back, we're just gonna round things up with the beautiful <laughs> Latasha and Gooby, man. In the house. Thank we'll you. Be right back. Yeah. Top talent. Oko oh, 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 oh. MC Galaxy. <laughs> Yeah, mama. Yeah, mama. Yeah, mama. Yeah, mama. 